Brian Fisher is continuing his week-long flip-out session over gay marriage, and he somehow managed to work a slavery comparison into the conversation. The mark of the beast today is the rainbow flag. You think about the number of examples, and I just ticked through a list of examples here, of people who were unable, who were not allowed to engage in commerce because they would not take the mark of the beast on their hands or on their foreheads. They would not allow the beast to dictate to them what they did with regard to the homosexual agenda, what they did or what they thought. A story today about uh, Hands-On Originals T-shirt company in Lexington, Kentucky, of all places. Uh, they have been found guilty of violating the discrimination ordinance because they would not print T-shirts that proclaimed a message that they found morally offensive. Now, they got the, the, this gay pride group got their T-shirts printed someplace else, but that wasn't enough for them. They came after this Hands-On Originals T-shirt, got the local Human Rights Commission, whoever they are, to find that they had broken the law. So now they're prepared to be saddled with some kind of a fine. They have been ordered that the next time a gay group walks in the front door of your business, you got to do whatever they ask you to do. So that's just slavery. You know, when you are ordered to, to do work against your will, what do we call that? I mean, that's slavery. Oh, make it stop. <laughs> slavery. It's slavery to serve gay people at a diner. It's slavery. It's slavery. Now, think about this. Brian, was it slavery in the 1980s when uh, it was enforced that you have to allow interracial marriages? When churches were forced, hey, you guys have to marry interracial couples because that's the law. Was that slavery? Was it slavery when we desegregated? Was that slavery? When we said, okay, now we're going to force schools in the South that you guys need to mix. We're going to desegregate here. Was that slavery to force the, force the daggone school to go against their beliefs and their opinions and their religion? Because understand the Bible uh, is very clear that especially when it comes to interracial marriages, for example, it forbids it. You're not supposed to marry between tribes, as they call it. It's forbidden. So by allowing interracial marriage, hey, it's in the Bible. that You shouldn't interracial marry. And by the way, that's the argument the people who are against it used. It's in the Bible. It's not, it's not us that, that hates colored folk. It's, it's, it's in the Bible. We're just going by the Bible. Can't get mad at me for that. So was it slavery when the state said, all right, um, stop being a douche and marry them? No, it wasn't slavery then. And this isn't slavery now. The idea that if you're in rural Mississippi, you're a gay couple driving along and your car breaks down and there's three gas stations within a 150-mile radius and none of them want to serve you because you're gay and so you're just fucked. Stay on the side of the Roman road until God knows what happens. The idea that the law says you can't discriminate against them, no, that's not slavery. It's nowhere near slavery. It's called efficient and smart regulations. I mean, it's amazing to me that this is still debatable. This is still a conversation. You're allowed to, if somebody comes into your store, for example, and they start knocking over shelves and cursing people out, you're still allowed to kick them out, okay? The only thing that uh, civil society says you can't do is you can't discriminate based on arbitrary things. So if somebody comes in and they're black, can't help their blackness, so you need to serve them, okay? Somebody comes in and they're a woman, can't help their gender, so serve them. Somebody comes in and they're gay. None of your fucking business, serve them. You can't kick them out based on arbitrary things. Because look, when you extrapolate this idea further, there are people who hate redheads. Okay? Uh, so what? Anytime a redhead walks into their place of business, I don't like your kind. Get out of here, ginger. Get out of here. Well, no, we would, we would look at that guy and say, hey, fuckhead, make the sandwich. What's wrong with you? Make the sandwich. But, you know, and you could take it even further to examples that don't even exist, probably. Your nails are too long. You, um, you have an eyebrow ring. I mean, you have tattoos. That's Bible forbids tattoos. I have tattoos. If I walk into a store 
and somebody sees that I have a sleeveless shirt on, get out, you got a tattoo! Motherfucker, stop, stop with the silliness. Don't kick somebody out for arbitrary means, and to compare that to slavery is so disrespectful to, to the what actually happened during slavery. Slavery is when your freedom is taken away, you're separated from your family, you're whipped, okay, you're tortured, you're forced to go out in a field for 13 hours a day to pick fucking cotton. That's slavery. You die at the age of 42 uh, from being overworked and your body's systems breaking down because you never had a day off in your life. That's slavery. That's slavery. It's not slavery to feed a gay person a sandwich. And finally, the, uh, the mark of the beast had to be one of the silliest parts. The rainbow flag is the mark of the beast today. Yes. When I see a rainbow flag, that's exactly what I think. Lucifer. Not lovely, normal people going about their business asking for equality, equal protection under the law. Not superiority, not we're better than you, we want to have... I love how my gay voice is the same as my southern voice. We're better than you, we want to have a spot above you. I'm going to get hate mail for that, please, I'm just joking around, guys. I love my entire... all the gay people out there, I love you to death, okay? And all the, the liberals who aren't gay, but they're going to scream about that. Just calm down. Um... They're not saying they want to be superior, they're saying they want to be equal. Okay, so the idea that they're the mark of the beast and they're evil, nonsense. But of course, I'm talking to a Christian fundamentalist extremist extraordinaire, so I shouldn't be surprised.